Well, here we got Otis. This is my beloved prized FZJ80. I love this rig. 1995 Moon Glow Pearl. It's been through a lot of transformations, which I'm sure a lot of you with 80 series, you've kind of gone through different suspensions, different wheels, sizes, all the works. So um, same with me. And this, when I first got this FZJ80, which I call Otis, because when I bought it, the people that, uh, well, the guy I bought it from before before I left, he's like, hey, can my daughters take one last picture? And the girls came out and like, oh, we're gonna miss you, Otis. I'm like, Otis? Yeah, that's his name. So I kept the name, as one should, and I kind of added my own little acronym. So Otis, O for Overland, T for Terrain, I for In, and S for Style. So it's Over Terrain in Style, or Overland in Style, however you like. Anyway, so this is Otis. And it had an old man emu lift. I took it off and I put an Icon Stage 3 suspension. There's lots of choices, right? There's Iron Man, there's Dobinson, there's King, there's um, tons, tons of different options. Old man emu, of course. And I really loved my Icon Stage 3. Let's take a quick look. Three inch is what they offer. It is a uh, dual rate, so progressive spring, as you can see. It gets wider at the bottom, tighter at the top, and it is adjustable. Yeah, right there, what you see there, I wrapped it because I just didn't like the color. Can't even remember what color it is underneath, but I just wrapped it for fun. But there she is, and it's got a dial with 10 different settings, so you can make it plush or you can make it stiff. So for all intents and purposes, that suspension has been amazing for me. It's such an amazing ride. It's like, it doesn't get any better than that. However, look at the sag in the back now. So why did that happen? Well, I put a super heavy rear bumper. So yeah, I removed the spare from underneath. Let's take a look at that. So that cavity is empty. So imagine if I put a long range tank in there. And the wheel now hangs on the back, which is, you know, pushing that weight further back. Got a roof rack. I got cases up top. Inside, I have what I consider the best drawer system. Let me, let me open it up. It takes two hands. All right, voila, the back is open. So these are the best drawers out there, I got to say. Out of all the options, they're not going to be your cheapest. They are the best. Isn't that how it goes? You get what you pay for. But just right from... You know, the opening, closing, the ball bearings, it is so quiet. And this is made for an 80 series. So they make them for 80s, for 100s, for 200s. Not a fit kit, because there's some companies out there that'll make a fit kit that, you know, you get your drawers. Listen how quiet that closes. I get no rattle. I met a guy who had, I don't want to name the brand, but another well-known brand. And he says, squeaking in the back of the truck like the... There's a bunch of mice having some sort of uh, orgy or something. He says it was brutal. So these are super quiet, super awesome. I love the uh, this, which I have got Velcro on my Radius Outfitters, but good marine uh, carpeting, amazing. So I actually helped distribute them now. So I bought this, I loved it, talked to them, um, and I said, you guys need some West Coast distribution. So if you're interested, hit me up, I can hook you up with a set of these for uh, numerous Land Rovers, uh, FJ Cruiser, 80, 100, 200, LX 600, you name it. So top notch. Anyways, they're heavy. That's one thing. Um, so when I added all that weight, I sagged down in the back. So let's see. First of all, let's measure the front. So the front, which might be sticking up a little higher right now, because, so I'm at seven and a quarter off the front and the back, which these should be level, right? Look at the back, five and a quarter, yuck. And I, and I just, I can tell, when I drive it, I feel it, it just doesn't look right. So what did I do? I called up Icon, Vehicle um, Dynamics, and I said, hey guys, here's my situation. I got your three inch, dual rate amazing spring package adjustable shocks and i'm drooping in the back because as an overlander i added a fridge i added gear all this cool stuff 
which by the way, I'll put these in my link. This this is an awesome soft carry, you know, to put your put your booze, put your dry goods, sundries, and clothes, clean clothes. Um, so it, awesome cases for that. And I'll put in my description below a video on cases. Um, that's going to be posted right after this video. So it just depends when you see it. Ice coat. So I'll have links for all these. I love this ice coat chest. It's kind of good bang for the buck. I like the color. It's not like one of those shiny black ones that a lot of companies are selling, including Iceco. I like this one from Iceco. Anyhow, so links to save money in my description below. About 10% on different items. Anyhow, once you add all this stuff and you, and it's, you know, the wet weight, once you start putting all your, your uh, materials in your car about to go on a trip, this will sag even more. Because right now, my cases up top are empty. My fridge is empty. My drawers, they got gear, but the two radius uh, outfitters right now, empty. And look at my weight. So I call up Icon. They say, that's all we sell. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't, you don't sell another set of springs? Nope. Because I got like 500 pounds back here when it's wet. Nope, <laughs> they don't. So they kind of cater to a stock. You're not going to overland. You're not going to put a bunch of gear in the back. So, you know, I apologize. I recommended this suspension system to a bunch of Land Cruiser people. People ask me questions, but that's before I loaded it up. So I think there's at least 20 of you who bought this suspension system telling me you love it. But here we are. I weighed it down. And I've got the solution. So this is, uh, it's Friday afternoon, tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm going to my buddy's shop and we are going to put in some new coils, some new springs. Which ones? So I searched high and low and I'm doing the Dobinson. So I'll put in my link and if you want to talk directly to um, the main person at Dobinson to go over what you're doing, specifically for your build i recommend you talk directly with a person knowledgeable because you know are you going to put a fridge in drawers or are you putting a rear tire carrier it depends the weight because it could be 200 pounds 400 pounds 600 pounds and that will determine what um, springs you should go with because if you're going with a super heavy spring and you're empty you're going to feel it it's going to be a bit of a rough ride but if you're full it's going to be smooth and by the way i know their Dobinson's go-to is the turquoise, teal, whichever you want to call it. These are black inside because everything is, you know, I didn't want to put teal springs on my truck. You know, if I did the whole build, maybe, but uh, they do have black on some of their higher options. And I'll also be posting a video on one of their entry-level two-inch base um, suspensions, which many of you might be interested in. So definitely subscribe and hold tight for that video coming in the next couple weeks on a cool Land Cruiser build that I'm doing. So on this one, again, you saw the front is high, the low is back. And I had two recommendations from Toyota people. They said, put a, um, a spacer. So one solution is put a spacer, lift it up. But guess what? What happens if you're rock crawling or overlanding and you're really flexed out? You could, have, you could run into a problem. You could pop out. So, uh, meaning your, your spacer can come right out when you're at full extension. And this truck is not just beautiful, it's functional. Like I, I go overland with this thing and I can crawl with this because it's triple locked. So I opted to go with the Dobinson. This is 3.5, even though the um, springs are three on this, but 3.5 because when we put all that weight, it's gonna it's going to come down about half an inch and it's going to be nice and level. And personally, I prefer a slight amount of stink bug. That's when the truck is like this versus like that. I don't like that. I like level or maybe half an inch higher in the back is okay with me. So let's go look at another Land Cruiser. So this one has like an old man emu three inch lift, but it's got no weight on it, right? So let's take a look and see. Oh, this is a guesstimate. So about seven and a half. And the back is probably going to be a little higher. Eight and a quarter. So oh no, sorry, eight. Eight. So that's eight. Seven and a half and eight. And that's what that looks like. So you know, some of you are looking at doing a four, a five, a six-inch lift. That's going to be even taller than this 
And to me, when it starts to get too tall, unless you go 37s or 40s, it starts to look a little ridiculous and disproportionate. So you can see this one is pretty darn tall as is. So we talked about spacers in the back, believe it or not, this stock suspension, I've got spacers in the front because all North American Land Cruisers come with a stink bug where the, uh, the front is lower than the back. The solution for that is a spacer. So I have a bunch of friends that have done that and I did that on this truck. That's why it looks like it's level and coincidentally, it feels like when you drive it, it feels and looks like I got a lift on it, like a two inch lift just by putting that 30 millimeter spacer on a 200 series. So let's look at two more cruisers. Uh, one that is gonna be interesting and something to share with you. So this one, which is actually gonna be up for sale soon. This is a 111,000 mile 1994 FCJ80. Can you believe that? Super low miles. So same thing, the spare right now is not in the back. So we're looking at, look at that, almost nine, eight and a half, you know, if we were to get level with the tire. And the front, so this has got a bit of stink bug to it. So remember, the spare is not in the back right now. Yeah, to about six and a half in the front. So this is an old man emu lift. Let's see, wait you see how clean this thing is. Look at that. So that's an old man emu that I had on another rig that I moved to this one and uh, drives like a dream. So don't think because you're not getting, uh, you know, a dual rate or progressive spring. Don't think that you're not getting an amazing lift with old man emu. They've been doing it for a long time. They know what they're doing. They've dialed it in. Those guys right there. Been doing it the longest. So. This one sits beautifully. And my apologies, this truck is pretty dirty right now. Maybe the, the video makes it look clean, but she's dirty. She needs a, a roof racks coming in. That's why I haven't sold this yet. I want to put the roof rack up, finish her up, but 111,000 miles and it drives like it just rolled off the assembly, assembly line. Okay, so last one before we get to see the finished pictures uh, or video of Otis is Black Mamba. So Black Mamba, because I'm not overlanding it, it's not triple locked, this is just my, well I mean, I'm not rock crawling it, I will <clears throat> overland and go in the desert with this and what have you, and go on fire roads, but this one has the spacer lift in the back. So I just, I kind of felt, I'm not gonna be fully flexing out this diesel Land Cruiser. This is Japanese by the way, right hand drive, you'll see in a second. So this has King Shocks, but King, some of you are like, ooh, King, I'm gonna put Kings on my Land Cruiser. Well, King does not make springs for an 80 series. So this actually has Icon Stage 3, just like Otis, on the back, and the springs are King shocks. Let's take a look at the front. And what does that give me on that three inch lift? Right about six. And, and one thing to tell you, and six. These are 35 inch tires. I feel that's the sweet spot without having to re-gear, uh, as long as you're at you know sea level and you're not doing a major grade. If you live in Colorado, you might wanna um, re-gear. These are 33s, right? So, you know, the bigger the tire, it actually fills up some of that space. So when we measure, for instance, on those 35s, if those were 33s, the truck would come down a bit, but the wheel wouldn't fill as much as the void. So it would probably show like it's even a taller lift. So we got to take in consideration the fact that those are bigger tires. Maybe I'll do a quick measurement to the fender here in a second. And this one has 34s on it and Otis down there has 35s. So maybe let's, let's do a measurement for fun on the wheel wells after we see the front of Black Mamba's suspension. So again, Black Mamba has the dual rate because I really like the fact that the dual rate, see it's tight at the top, a lot more space behind uh, the bottom, and then it's king. Not adjustable, so you have to make sure they're dialed in from the get-go. Um, so you can go to a dealer and adjust these, but you're gonna pay 
you don't have a dial like you do with Icon, but um, this is just a tremendous suspension setup and it sits nice and even because of the spacer. So let me get my tape measure out and let's look up to the, the fender. Okay, Black Mamba, 39 and a half in the front and Thirty nine in the back, so that's livable. I like that. Let's check out my hundred and eleven thousand mile rig. Look at that, thirty nine and a half. But again, I do not have the spare in the back, so that might come down a quarter inch by putting the spare. And when it does that, it'll help match the thirty eight in the front. So keep in mind, these are thirty threes. That's why not as tall as uh as black mamba and black mamba has a lot of weight on the back compared to that there's no weight the seats the rear seats are even out right now on the red one okay this one is got 34 inch tires and we got 39 and a half in the front and in the back we have 39 and a half almost or three quarters so that's a good good uh, close as you can get but remember as those would get heavier there's no major roof rack there's no gear on the roof okay so this one where I think I need to lift the back we're at 38 and a half so I'm hoping that comes up to 39 and a half which I think it should go up at least an inch and look at the front I think it's the tallest out of all of them almost 41 almost so this will come down a quarter inch or so because as the back goes up the front will come down slightly and i think the ride will be better i think it's just going to be awesome so uh i'm gonna tune back in here tomorrow we're gonna go to the shop we're gonna put these in i think it's gonna be pretty easy to do so and uh, we'll see how Otis drives post lift. All right, stay tuned. All right, there's Otis. So this is uh, maybe a good shot on level ground because it was up on a hill earlier. But you can see great clearance in the front and then you see the sag in the back. Too low, too low. So, let's uh, let's get her done today. Put those those uh, new coils in the back, and we'll see what those three and a halfs do. And there's the finished product. Ooh la la! Does that not look great? Leveled it out to perfection. Sits right. Looks right. And I can even add some weight to that. Let's take a look underneath and then we're going to take her for a drive. I want to see how it drives compared to the, uh, the Icon dual rake. Got the pan hard lift there by Delta. Yep, looks great. What do you say? What do you say, boy? Huh? You like it too? I think he does. Oh yeah, looks great. And even when I was standing behind the rig, it just feels, felt like it was just way too low. And now, with the drawers and all, it's gonna feel right. Oh yeah, stoked. So if you're in Southern California and you're putting an entire lift for the first time, definitely pick my brain, you can hit me up. Uh, I can put you in touch with the guys over at Dobinson. If I was to do this all over again, I'd go Dobinson all round. Uh, right now I've got an Icon Stage 3 mix with a uh, Icon, uh, or sorry, with a Dobinson rear. I even have the, uh, let's see here, the hydraulic bump stops. See that? In the front. So that's a cool thing that Icon makes. 
and you can mix that into your Dobinsons, of course. So I'll put you in touch and see if you can get a package deal. And then if you're looking for an installer in Southern California, let me know. I'll hook you up with the, the right guys who know these trucks and can put your lift on for you for a reasonable price. All right, there she is. I'm stoked to go for a ride. All right, here I am on the highway. We are going about 60 miles an hour. The flow of traffic. It can go more than that too. You can see it's only at 2,000 RPMs. And it feels awesome. It feels right. Quite honestly, it feels just like the Icon because these are just taller and they're dual rate as well. But um, yeah, feels good. I like it. You can see there I changed my uh, grab handle. So if you want more information on that, hit me up. If it's my RAM or my phone, usually it sits. And the headroom's been made a lot more open because I took the saggy, um, the saggy sun visor down and I put a rosin. So if you want uh, to get yourself a set of rosins on your rig, I still have to take the, uh, the wrap off on that. So if you want to get a set of rosins, I'll have a link below and there's a there's a coupon code to get uh, I think it's like 5% off because they never come on sale. Instead of 300 bucks, it's 2 285 for a set, which quite frankly is cheaper than getting new um, you know, felt material ones, OEM, which are going to sag over time as well. So it just makes so much more room. All right, but the uh, down near my house, some swooping roads. Just driving, it's so nice. Here I'll take my uh, street corner a little hard just to see. Oh yeah, smooth as can be. So here's a nice 360 of it. Sitting nice and level, exactly what I wanted. Voila. All right, so if you're gonna do a suspension, hit me up, ask me. I'll be more than happy to share my experience, put you in touch with the right people, if you're in SoCal, where to get it installed, and what to buy depending on what you're doing. Are you gonna put a heavy rear bumper? Are you putting a fridge? Are you putting drawers? Um, so let me know. And even if you want action tracks, let me know about that. I distribute those with yellow zinc uh, grade eight metal on them. So last set of boards you'd ever need to buy. Oh yeah, it's sitting nice and high in the back. All right, thanks for tuning in. Happy trails and good luck with your 80 series.